Hello? Oi, don't come near me. I'm armed. Dean? What? Don't just lick it. What am I meant to think? That I'm a good person, doing the right thing. Yeah, but you've gone all in. It's like nothing else matters at all, and I want to know why. Because I'm doing my job. Oh, you're protecting yourself. <laughs> Are you trying to stop other evidence coming out? Oh, this is preposterous. Or you feel bad and you don't want John Paul paying the price for something that you did. You need to go. No, I'm going nowhere. We both know how much you hated George. So did you. So did all the McQueens. Even Nancy disliked him when she found out what he was really like. Yeah, but... James, you were almost bragging about it, how he had it come in. <sighs> because he was threatening to charge you with sexual assault. And now that you bring it up, his death has been rather convenient for you. What are you trying to say? Oh, you're more than happy to throw out the accusations. Y you were the one that went looking for him. What were the words that you used? You were going to play dirty. Mm. What did you mean by that? Oh, what fresh hell is this? Yes. Right, Sally has packed a bag for our John Paul clean pants. Muffins, Sudoku. I like being locked up. Ain't boring enough, so can you take it in for me? You know there's restricted access, even for lawyers. Is that a yes or a no? Why is everyone being dead cages today? First you had Dean being weird. Dean as in George's ex? Yeah, hanging round the car park being shifty ass. Oh. Where are you going? I think we just found ourselves a new suspect. Well, maybe James could find something. I don't know, something that's going to put Dean in the frame. Like what? If forensics had found anything, he'd be in a cell right now. But he's not. John Paul is. And he shouldn't be. He's a victim. Do you know what George did to him? Yes. But he's also a police officer. Cohen's mate. Yeah, well, let me tell you, that uniform means nothing. She's going to be all over this. I mean, is he even here? No, oh, he's... Listen to it, he's gone. He went looking for Dean. What, so he's going to bully him into a confession? You've got to be kidding me. He's trying to shut this down. Everybody knows that Dean was still hung up on George. Better him than John Paul? This is exactly why James should never have taken this on. I knew he'd do something reckless. He's just trying to fix this. And if Dean tells the police that James has been intimidating him, do you know what that will do? It could jeopardise the whole case. Do you think I want James obsessing about this 24-7, dragging everything up? Dean could be our way out of this. Yeah, I hope you're right. Me too. What if he's gone already? Perhaps if you deigned to tell me earlier. Hey, do you think he actually done this? You do, don't you? That squirmy little rat. Oh, you! Do you get a kick out of this seeing our John Paul go to prison when it should have been you? Go home. Kind of be scaring him off. Dean! Dean! Please, slow down. I'm John Paul's lawyer. Please. I knew. I knew when they got engaged that something like this would happen. Is that why you came back? You, you heard about the engagement? You couldn't stand that George wanted John Paul, not you? No. You don't know what George was like. Yeah, he could make you feel more charismatic, more fun, more alive than ever, but... He could also bring out your demons. And all that passion could turn into aggression. Just like that. Maybe for you, but John Paul's not like that. Yes, he is. I've seen you goody two-shoes teacher when he's off duty. He slashed my tent, destroyed it, completely lost it. It's not the same as killing someone. Just a, a little argument that gets out of hand. George says something, then he pushes and he pushes and he pushes until he gets that snap. I've been there. And so is John Paul. Once. That you know of. Do you know what that's like? Dealing with that every day. To love someone and hate someone that much turns you into this. Perhaps you should talk to the police about this. Just a one fight too many. That's all it was. An accident. But George is still dead. That's the only way this was ever going to end. That's not what happened. John Paul is the victim in all of this. Why can't anybody see that? I do. 
I've been through exactly what he went through. Everyone thinking that your boyfriend's this big hero, this brave police officer, when really he's just putting you through hell. You need to talk to the police about this. Please, you have to. No. Because it doesn't mean that John Paul's innocent. It just explains why George is dead. I will not have John Paul's life ruined because of George. You can't help him. It's too late. Sorry. James, what, what is it? Has something happened with the case? You didn't deserve anything that man did to you. All I ever wanted was to protect you. I know. But men like George, they... They just keep pushing. Pushing until there's nothing left. And you go too far. James, please just get me home. Please just get me back to Matthew. That, that, that's, that's all I want you to do. I can't. What? But you swore to me. I, I didn't do this. They're building up a case. Once they get the forensics back. What are you saying? I wish there was an alternative. I do. But uh, if we do this now, we have time. We can make a deal with the CPS, which means you won't have to spend a lifetime in prison. Do what? I, I don't understand. I'm sorry, John Paul, but... I think you should plead guilty to manslaughter. What? 